I try to increase my punching power in seven days with Alex Perea's workout routine. When I heard about a program that could increase your punching power by 10X in only seven days, well, let's just say I was a little skeptical. You see, I've been training elite law enforcement and military for over 30 years, and I thought the only way that you could immediately increase your power is to really focus on great form and accuracy and a heck of a lot of strength training. Although I consider myself a pretty solid athlete as I've played football all the way up through college, I've also been training in martial arts for a very, very long time. I know that when it comes down to the hardest hitters in the UFC, there is no one better than Alex Pereira. So trying to train at his level, especially after I've taken a one month vacation off of no training could lead to serious injury. So me always being up for a challenge, I've compiled a series of Alex Pereira's workout programs all into one document. My goal is to increase my punching power by 20% in only seven days. If it works, I'll link the workout in the description below. I started off this challenge by finding a way that I could measure my punches. Day one was testing day. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this. You know, it's been about 10 years since I checked my punching power and a lot could happen in 10 years. This is where we're gonna be testing the punching power right here on our Amazon bought punching measurement device right here. All right, so this is what we're gonna use. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, we're about 240. I was sitting at 240, which really isn't too bad, but my goal was to increase that by 20% in only seven days. As for some additional motivation, if I can't reach my 20% goal in seven days, I'm gonna teach my next class in a chicken suit. Ask me about my wiener! Which I really don't wanna to have to do, but I'm up for this challenge. Workout one consisted of a lot of plyometrics. Whew. Usually my workouts consist of sparring, you know, a lot of weight training. It's definitely been a while since I've been any, done any kind of plyometrics training. And day two was filled with a lot of power movements. Now it was midpoint testing day. Was I gonna see improvement or was I gonna see regression? I threw a few shadow punches and then I was ready for the test. One, two, three, boom. Guess what happened? Nothing. All right, it looks like we have a problem here won't reset for me. Maybe we just have to change. That's weird. And after 30 minutes of troubleshooting, we finally found the problem. All right, we figured out all you have to do is hold it down and then that resets it back. So we are back in business. So I cocked back through the punch and... was less than the initial punch. How could this be? How could a punch be even less powerful than the first time around? It didn't make sense. So yesterday I did a test and uh, you know, 240 was my best, but then my best yesterday was 209. So now I'm dropping, I'm actually going the other way by about 15% or so, which is definitely not a good sign. I went to bed feeling pretty pessimistic that night. All right, so I just, I just got up in the middle of the night and I've been thinking about some stuff. Um, obviously not feeling too good about my progress and everything like that. And I guess what I was thinking about was, was that, you know, back when I was playing football or even, you know, currently like when I'm lifting, you know, when I take that extra time off or the extra day off, a lot of times that leads to better performance than the next day, whether I'm playing a game or whether I'm doing a big lift or whatever it is. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try adding in an extra rest day and see if that really pays on off. If my results were actually going backwards, there was no way I was gonna reach my 20% goal in only seven days. So technically, because this was a competition, I would need to modify my plan and actually take a day off before the final testing day. Would that be enough to actually correct the drop that I just experienced, but also then increase my power by 20%. I didn't want to risk it because I had complete and utter embarrassment on the line. So on day five, I called my buddy who's a physical therapist and I wanted his opinion on if a rest day could really help me out in this challenge. Even if a muscle group like the biceps or the back is being allowed to rest while you're training legs and other muscle groups, that your whole neuromuscular system needs rest. How does one determine whether or not your entire body needs complete rest or, yeah. or low level active rest or exercise of a different kind? That's all I needed to hear. 
So I got back to my workout knowing that the next day I could have a complete day of rest, working out harder than I probably have in months. It was finally testing day and man, was I nervous. Although the chicken suit thing is fun, I mean, the real big fear is deep down inside, I didn't wanna lose what I already had. I mean, once upon a time, I felt invincible. And although mentally I know I'm still incredibly dangerous, I see common things like even my vision dropping and realize that I am getting older. I was proud at where I was, but I knew that I had to get better. Halfway through the week, I was severely disappointed and I knew that I had to make modifications. And it all led back to this, the final test. Would I hit my 20% increase or would I be teaching my next martial arts class in a chicken suit? All right, today is the day, it is testing day. So a week ago, if you remember, it was 240, that was my best. So to hit my goal, that means I need to hit 288 at least today, or I'm wearing that chicken suit. I walked up, cocked back, and boom. <sighs> 313, can you believe that? <laughs> oh man, holy cow, it was worth it. Awesome. I actually hit my target. Not only was it significant, I mean, it was by a margin that was pretty large. Because of this work, I wanna follow through with my promise. Take a look at the description and I put the link there of this whole workout program.